Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. I'm a naturopath, a teacher and a dancer. And in this video, I'd like to tell you about some of the things that I've manifested by accident. So what I mean by that is I've manifested things before I knew about the law of attraction. Now, the law of attraction is uh, a school of thought that thinking positively or negatively will attract positive or negative into your life. It's kind of like what you think about, you'll bring about. So simply put, what you focus on is what you will attract into your life. So if you're sitting there and you're worried about money and finances and lack of it, then you're going to attract more lack into your life. Where if you focus on where you feel abundant, you'll attract more abundance into your life. Um, so the things that I manifested by accident, um, one thing that comes to mind is when I was a really little girl, maybe five years of age, I used to line up all my toys, my dolls and my teddy bears on the lounge and I was a mad ABBA fan. So I would play uh, ABBA music and Olivia Newton-John also, uh, especially Grease, the soundtrack. And I would line up all my dolls and all my teddy bears and I would sing to them and I would dance and I would put little concerts on for my toys and but that was my favorite thing to do when I was a kid and I used to do it all the time. I just turn the music up and just go for it and dance and sing and perform and you know get behind the curtains and fling them open like there were stage curtains and I was a really really shy child. I was so so quiet. I wouldn't say boo like adults I, I wouldn't talk to even other kids like it would take a lot for me to be able to talk to them so um for me to manifest my career as a dancer is just, it's unbelievable. Um, but yeah, at the age of 21, somehow I just overcame my shyness and just auditioned for a show um, and, and got into that show and I danced for 25 years later, you know, like I'm still dancing now, like that's it, absolutely incredible, like for that to happen. And so maybe 10 years after that, I actually manifested a career as a dancer. Like it was absolutely incredible. Like this shy little child <laughs> that wouldn't say boo and just couldn't handle having all eyes on her or any eyes on her. Um, I went and auditioned for a show and I got into that show and I've been dancing ever since, which is 20, going on 25 years now. So that, that's just incredible to me. Um, and yeah, that was a, a manifestation by accident. I manifested this career as a dancer through repeatedly doing this as a child. I mean, the other thing I did was um, with my dolls, I had a little cubby house and I'd pretend to be a school teacher, you know, and I'd put little stencils and things, you know, like completed up on the wall and had a little chalkboard and I ended up being a school teacher as well. Um, yeah, so that's just two things that I've manifested um, from when I was a child. Um, the other thing I manifested um, as an, by accident was I was a, a kinder dance teacher. So that's um, a movement and dance program taught in childcare centers. And their logo was a really colorful clown. And um, I used to have a black t-shirt with this clown picture on it. And um, they used to also make magnets for cars. So, you, you know, the kind of magnets you put on the side of a car or you see on the side of cars. And um, at the time I was driving a, a light sort of purple or mauve colored iridescent car. And um, I always thought I'd like to get one of those magnets and put them on my car, but I would always picture it as a black car because I always wanted a black car, but there was no thought for me to buy a black car at that time. And so after imagining these magnets, on a little black car, um, my little mauve car broke down and uh, it was the gearbox. So the gearbox is a big expense to, to replace, to fix that. Um, that car wasn't worth it so it was time for me to trade it in even though I had no thoughts of trading in my car at the time. The gearbox meant that it was time to do that and wouldn't you believe it I ended up trading it in on a little black car. And shortly after I got those magnets, stuck it on the car and it was exactly the way I had visualized it when I'd first seen those magnets. Um, yeah, so I have no doubt that the law of attraction, you, you can manifest on purpose and you can manifest by accident. And uh, both those two were by accident. I have another story that I might leave for another time about how I manifested my boyfriend and that was kind of by accident too. So um, yeah, I'll leave that for another time. Give this video a, thumb, a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you in another video.